Hey savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today I'll be checking out the latest release in Pop! OS 21.04 with the new Cosmic Desktop. That's right, we've received an official release from Pop! OS finally, so let's explore things real quick. One of the first things you'll notice is a new dock on the bottom of the screen. Now, I've already changed up a few things here in this Cosmic Desktop environment, which is really some extensions added to the GNOME Desktop environment, and they're calling it Cosmic here. I changed up the standard background that came with this. It was a little bit too overwhelming when it came to color. I also took in the sides of the dock. I didn't want to extend it over and across the whole entire display. We'll look at some of those things a little bit later, but let's first talk about the biggest addition to the Cosmic Desktop, which is the dock. To the left of the dock, we have Show Launcher, which gives us the Launcher app from Pop! OS. This is a great tool, especially if you want to do things like math or search for stuff. I can put in a square root of four and it gives me two, which is correct. You can do all sorts of math in there. It also, and if you don't have anything typed in, it allows you to look at the last few things you had opened up. So I got some recording software here that I had opened up. And of course I can search for different apps. Let's say if I wanted to check out displays, I can just type in display and go and select it either with the mouse, the arrow buttons, and then by pressing enter or control and then the number that corresponds to the thing you want to open. A great tool if you haven't used it already. This isn't new to Cosmic Desktop or Pop OS 21.04, but it has been improved. So make sure to check it out. It has a smarter indexing features and is a great tool. Moving on, you'll notice that we have show workspaces and applications at the bottom of the screen now in the dock. That way you can access your various different workspaces on the left-hand side now. It used to be on the right side, but we have it on the left, but now they've decided to move it and we can access our workspaces just by simply clicking. Then we have show applications as well, so we can see all the applications that are currently installed on the system. Mind you, I've added some of my own as I'm testing this on a bare metal machine, trying to see how things perform and if I'm going to like the Cosmic Desktop enough to make the switch back over to Pop! OS. All right, and checking out their various different applications, we can move things around here in the application screen if we want. We, of course, have groups, so this is called the system group. We can rename it and move things around in here as well. It's looking pretty great with the default dark theme usual here in Pop! OS. Not too much new here. If you have multiple pages, you can swipe. There is more gesture support. So if you have a laptop, you can do four finger and three finger swipes, which bring up workspaces as well as applications simply with gestures. So check those out. Moving on, the default web browser, Firefox. We have files. Not much has changed in here. You can see we have access to various different home user directories, as well as the backgrounds using the dark theme. Not too much new in here. Files is 3.38 stable. This is directly from GNOME. Again, Cosmic Desktop piggybacks off of GNOME. 3.38, as we'll be seeing a little bit later. If we launch the Pop Shop, let's check out the repos available here in Pop OS 21.04 by clicking the cog and checking out the various mirrors. So official sources come from the Ubuntu archives. In updates, we have the security updates recommended and unsupported coming from Hearsuit Backports updates and security. Extra sources coming from Pop OS applications, the proprietary popos.org mirror, and then the System76 Pop Ubuntu, PPA, this one I added in myself, and some legacy system sources. Flatpak is also available here in Pop! OS, and that comes directly from the flatpak.org repo. Continuing on with the desktop environment, we've looked into the dock. We'll see how to change things up in a little bit, but on the top left-hand corner of the screen, we have workspace access as well. Again, you can look between those workspaces fairly easily. Let me show you an example of what you can do here with the workspaces. So if we have multiple things opened up, we go into workspaces, and then we can check and see what all applications we have opened up, and we can select them as well. But what we can also do is drag and drop our applications onto other screens that represent workspaces and then toggle between the two as necessary. So if you like working on multiple things that are all grouped together, you can and easily go between two groups of things that you're working on. A great feature that's always been there, but it's a nice reminder of how you can use it. Applications. 
Again, access the applications. We've already talked about this a little bit. And if you went ahead and made it this far, please smash that like button for me. It really does help me out. We'll talk about the middle here, which shows us the time and date. We have a nice calendar, any events that we currently have, and of course, notifications on the left-hand side. If you don't want anyone to disturb you, you can toggle that on. The bell icon with, with the strike through it signifies that you won't be disturbed. And on the right-hand side, we have window tiling built in to Pop! OS. This has been here for some time now, but it's a great feature if you want to tile your windows, simply toggle this on and your windows become tiled if you have multiple ones opened up. So for example, if I had files opened up here and my terminal, I can toggle on tile windows and boom, it tiles it directly. Now my dock disappeared on the bottom, but that's because I set up something earlier, which we'll check out in a little bit. We also have shortcuts as well as setting the gaps here. To the right of that, we of course have our volume control, microphone control, and wired wireless connections, as well as settings, lock, and power off or log out. I'll exit out of these few things, get back to the desktop, and then right click so we can check out our display settings. I'm very interested in this one. I've been using Pop! OS with dual monitors and the dual monitors are working great. As you can see, the second monitor is being displayed right now. Now I'm not going through all the settings because not much has changed in here. Notably, the newest thing here is the desktop settings, which allow you to customize this Pop! OS Cosmic Desktop Experience. Perhaps this is the most exciting part because now you can customize your GNOME 3.38 desktop even easier through the Cosmic Desktop. So we can select whether or not our super key launches the launcher or other various things like workspaces or perhaps applications. But now I've had my computer freeze a few times trying to go in between applications and workspaces so there is some sort of a bug, it seems like, at least for me. The hot corner allows you to toggle on workspaces. If you just go to the left-hand side and you hover over, then you get your workspaces without actually having to click workspaces. It's neat, but I don't like using it, so I have it toggled off. The top bar shows us the workspaces and applications in the top left if we toggle those off, which I do like keeping off since I have it already inside of the dock. I'll keep them off and then I'll change the position of the time and date to the left-hand side. Window controls also allow you to see a minimize button or a maximize button depending on what you like. The maximize button is something great because that wasn't always a thing inside of Pop! OS. You now get this extra button which allows you to see an application in its maximized mode. You can, of course, go back to the normal by clicking again, but it's a great feature to have. And I got it on. By default, it's off. In the background, I've already switched backgrounds. By default, you come in with, I believe this one right here. It's just a little bit too much for me. And I don't mind the cosmic that they've made here. It looks great. And it reminds us of the desktop environment that we're using. We'll move on to appearances by standard. Pop! OS gives you the dark mode by default. There's a nice little welcome screen when you first start out with things. And it allows you to choose a few of these settings yourself. That way you can get a little bit of customization done before you even start using the desktop environment. And if you're new and stopping by at this point, make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and operating system videos. The dock, which is arguably the largest change to this desktop environment, does have some options under desktop settings as well. You can enable or disable the dock. If you don't like it, get rid of it. You can go back to using Pop! OS the way it was before. Cosmic Desktop was introduced you have all the settings you would need here in between the general background appearance dock and workspaces to get it back to using it just the way you like it if you don't like the cosmic desktop experience. I personally do so I'll keep it toggled on. Dock options allow you to extend the dock to the edge of the screen. Now this is how it comes by default. I don't like that so I'm going to toggle that back off. Show launcher icon in the dock so these three buttons can be taken in and out of the icon set for dock. Show mounted drives if you do have any mounted drives, they'll appear down in the dock as well. You can toggle that on and off. I like it because then I can eject them fairly easily and see them when they come on. Dock visibility, I like to intelligently hide the dock. So that just means if you go right over the dock, it kind of disappears and has a little bit of an animation there. It's great. You have always hide and always visible as well. And whether or not you want to display it on one display or every display. Dock size allows you to change the icon sizes. You have large, small, medium, which is just right for me. 
You can also make it custom. You can't go past the 60 pixels, but you can go anywhere in between. Finally, the position on the desktop, we can change it to be on the left-hand side, right-hand side, or the bottom of the screen. If you're used to it on the left-hand side, like you've seen in some of the Ubuntu layouts, you can definitely put it there and of course, tailor it to your liking. In the workspaces, we have dynamic workspaces or a fixed number of workspaces. I like dynamic. And then whether the workspaces span throughout the displays or just on the primary one. And if you want it back to the old way, it'd be on the right hand side instead of the left hand side. If you're not used to that and you just like using your workspaces from the other side, you can toggle that right back. But that's a majority of the changes here and the things you can customize here with the Pop OS 21.04 desktop environment called the Cosmic Desktop. Back to the desktop, we'll hit a terminal and let's check out a few things on the system. First off, I wanna check out HTOP for resource usage. We'll check things out here we have a bunch of threads, 16 here. I have an eight core processor. They're going between zero and 10%, nothing crazy there. Memory is 1.74 out of 32 gigs. Now I do have OBS running in the background and that's a memory hog. Cosmic Desktop seems to be using about 800 megabytes to one gig of memory on my computer when I first started up. Yours might be a little different. Tasks here are 109 out of around 300 threads, and I've been up for about two hours here. Next, let's check out system information by using NeoFetch. NeoFetch says we have Pop OS 21.04, the 64-bit version, using kernel 5.11. It has 1,952 source packages. Bash is 5.1, two screens with GNOME 3.38 and the Cosmic Desktop, what I think is an extension. We have Window Manager Mud window theme pop the theme set is pop dark icons pop terminal of course gnome terminal being used i'm testing this out today on the amd ryzen 7 3700x and using an nvidia geforce gtx 1660 super i have 32 gigs of memory and overall i have to say that i'm really enjoying cosmic desktop so much so that i might be actually transferring back over to using pop os as my daily driver we'll see if that happens and if i make a video about it you'll know very soon I have been experimenting around with Cosmic Desktop and Pop OS 21.04. Everything's snappy. I haven't had any issues as expected with Pop OS. It was my daily driver for quite a while and I really enjoyed it. And I think personally, Cosmic Desktop has just made it better. It's too bad they couldn't get GNOME 40 in here for this release. And this release is running a little late. 21.04 usually is released in April 2021, but they wanted to make sure this Cosmic Desktop is right and running great for us and it sure is i think they've done plenty of testing let me know what your thoughts are on cosmic desktop below and if you have any questions comments or suggestions please post them in the comments section below and also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video catch me in a great community on discord and i'll catch you in another video thanks for watching